what's up YouTube, this Disciple, just uh, gonna give y'all a little background on who I am so y'all won't think y'all just watching an absolute stranger, you know what I'm saying, um, a little test, just my testimony, let you know where I came from, as you know I'm not, I, I haven't always been following Christ, but um, I follow him to the fullest now, to, it, it is uh, July of 2008. Uh, July of 2005, three years ago, was about the first time I committed committed a robbery. I robbed my first robbery was I robbed a uh, pizza guy. You know, um, around that time I, I I introduced myself to a gang um, in Northern Virginia, and we uh, we started robbing houses and stuff. The next day I did my first robbery, and robbed a house, and I planned it out and. I started to, uh, I, I basically started to become lead of this game, in a sense, because I was the one fighting all the time, I was the one uh, starting everything, the one planning out a lot of things in this game, and, uh, I mean, this is just to let you know that it, everything that I do, my, uh, my testimony is now just giving glory to God, because now you see where I am now. Uh, we, we we started off a small gang and we uh, we started going to Go-Go's. A lot of people, if you're not from Northern Virginia, D.C. area, you don't know what a Go-Go is. But we uh, started going to Go-Go's, started fighting people uh, for no reason at all, getting drunk highs. I smoked everything, smoked nic nicotine, not that much blacks. And I, I put my blacks in, in cough syrup and I smoked, I went from, from weed to kind of like angel dust, embalming fluid, um, everything smoked. So I, I, done, I, I done been through that stuff, and it's only through the grace of God that I'm here now. You know, so it's because of him that I live, and, and for him I live. So I'm just letting y'all know uh, my life on a, uh, on a, uh, and I should do, I should hit my poem up on this, y'all, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm going to let y'all know, I'm going to let y'all know my life on, uh, before I met Christ, uh, when I was in, in the darkness, um, in 2006 is when I gave my life to Christ, so I've been following Him. It was May 7th, 2006. I've been following Him for two years strong, and uh, and this is for the rest of my life. So uh, I'm going to just hit y'all up with a little poem, so it won't be as boring, you know, so it won't be too boring just listening to me, you know. This is, like I said, this disciple, you know. The realest behind the mic, behind the camera, to let you know. <laughs> Jesus up, man. Jesus is Lord. That's, that's hey, that is what's up, right? <laughs> Jesus is up, right? So I'm gonna just hit y'all up with a little junk, kind of uh, showing y'all what I did in the last two. Uh, how much time we got on there? Uh, we, you good, man? All right, showing what what I did on the last uh, last two months of my uh, of my life. It was January and February. Um, of uh, my life in 2006 before I got locked up for uh, breaking in and robbing houses and stuff. You can actually move around, but um, breaking in and robbing houses and stuff. So I'm gonna let y'all hear this, and there you go. When I look into your eyes, I can see the old me trapped into a life of deception of who you should be. I can see the pain behind the lustrous glaze of the haze and bombing fluid weed, vodka, and nicotine. The days of childhood vanishing away, engulfed by the beast of vanity. Insanity creeping as you walk with demented ideas of getting rich quick. Your gun stick to the palm of your hand as you say in your mind, the whole world's against me. Ready to bust with your nine and inner life for a flimsy bag of weed. When I look into your eyes, I can see. Breach swords and wicked plans plotted for the middle of the night. Stopping at CVS to express your independence of society by stealing duct tape so your victims won't cry and plead. I can see breaking in the houses when the moon is at its highest. Bias, chaotic ways, leading blind followers to riot, spray painting your names on signs and gas stations and cop cars and fences and everything that you desire. I can see the enemy taking over as you walk with broad shoulders, thinking you're invincible and you'll never get older, stuck in your youth, hoping you'll die tomorrow because your hope has been suppressed by fear and horror. 
sorrow, absorbed the joy you once expressed, the joy rejected by the flesh, now faith is something less, detested emotions to every person walking in your path, fist swinging with a wrath, a fight at McDonald's in front of the can, at the gas station spitting your thoughts out in the face of the man, ball on aisle one, two, three, four, now you did it again. Walking out slowly, hoping you can attract some attention. Then when you do, you pull out the tension. The rest, I won't mention. But I can see, I can also see Jesus knocking at your heart through disciples and your thoughts. Him telling you that if you go out tonight, you will get caught. Jesus showing you that there are people who truly love. So you keep rejecting us but for those who want your bucks. I can see why you wear the dark shades, though the sun's not up. Cause you don't want us to look into your eyes and realize you're no different than us. Except the fact that you cuss and hide under a person that wants to act tough. The only difference is we've accepted Jesus while you're accepting demons. Demons just trying to convince you there's a heaven for a G. And there's no need to change your ways as long as you follow me. Never telling you reality that as long as you walk that path your soul is demolishing. But your soul is acknowledging the fact that it's rotting. That's the reason you continue to think there's something that's wrong with me. And the reason your hopes limits ends at its first bereavement. Achievements based on deceivability. Don't wait till you get to the bottom. You reach the chilling heat that confuses all senses surrounded by billow weeps. It's time for you to look up now. And I'm asking you to taste and see. You've ran your race with the demons. Now come run this race with me. Because now I can see. Alright, that's just my poem on. How much time we got left on it? Uh, three more minutes. That's just my poem on uh, the old me and it's a testimony in itself because that's me, that's my life and what I did. Um, even both sides of that poem is what I did, you know. So if you can relate, you can relate. If you can't relate, it's my testimony, you know. And and now y'all can see where I came from. Um, so y'all see where I came from and, and hopefully y'all... Y'all can see how the shoes fit me, and when I go out and minister, y'all will be hearing from the realest in his testimony, because YouTube, MySpace, if y'all following Christ, I don't care where you at, we family. So we got to let each other know who we are. You know? That's right. We're family. So as we continue to preach this word, as we continue to spread this gospel to the ends of the earth, we got to continue to stay close to one another and continue to and, and not be ashamed of where we came from. So I thank y'all for just listening to our videos or listening to our tapes or taking the time out to just watch us. I thank y'all for just for everything that y'all doing right now. And I pray that y'all continue to pray for us. Um, go on our website. If y'all have any prayer requests or anything, whatever it is, send us an email. We'll continue to pray for y'all. You know, but what we need to continue to do is pray that we all stay in Jesus and continue to follow Him wholeheartedly because there's so many people that are being deceived nowadays. This is Disciple with the Real Disciples. Thank y'all. I'm out. See y'all later. Peace.